Well, look who decided to make the trip. Careful. How are you, buddy? Good. How are you, Miles? Good. Good. Would you mind making some coffee for us? You can't have caffeine. Please. Alone. <laughs> I mean, what's a dying guy got to do to get some alone time around here? Besides the obvious? <laughs> <coughs> I need you to promise me something. You know I don't make promises. This is serious. Now, when I die, I want you to open this. There's something very important inside. Something I need you to do. No questions asked. Just do it yourself. Okay. Why is the door locked? My dearest Miles, my oldest friend, if you are reading this letter, then I am dead. But if I am not dead and you're reading this, I'm going to haunt the living shit out of you. Get into your car. Now! You forgot the key. Now drive to my house. Do not park in the front, you dumbass. Go through the backyard. Hop the fence. Watch out for the hole. <laughs> Get under the porch. Next to the door. Crouch. Isn't this where you and Fivehead made out that one time? <laughs> Asshole. Yeah, we all saw. Now get into my house. Quietly. Okay, it's ninja time, buddy. You have to get to my room, my closet. And whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not get caught by Marcy. She will freak the fuck out. Patience, my young Padawan. Now pull out the green chest. Right. Under the blankets. Now use the key. 
What you are about to see are my deepest secrets. My skeletons <laughs> in my closet. <laughs> that stupid fucking award I got from work. Top ad exec as voted by five of my coworkers. An arrest warrant from the armpit of America. My bong, Cynthia. Lynn Boylan's underwear, so hot. And finally, the most embarrassing thing <laughs> I have ever owned. A uh, freak. Don't judge me, you dick. Uh, I cannot believe this. Fuck you. Seriously. Did someone lock my door? Guys, there's someone in my room. Are you okay? <laughs> Oh, well, you know what to do. Make sure you have to get out the window. <gasps> Everything is going to be okay. I hope you understand why I've done this. I love my wife. I love my family. I never want to hurt them, ever, in any way. But what you've done for me is completely selfless, brave. I only hope that one day, somehow, I can repay you. You were the perfect shovel buddy. Your best friend, Brandon Landvigan. <laughs>